Nehemiah chapter 6 and 7. Chapter 6. Now when Sanballat and Tobiah and Geshem the Arab and the rest of our enemies heard that I had built the wall and that there was no breach left in it, although up to that time I had not set up the doors and the gates, Sanballat and Geshem sent to me, saying, Come and let us meet together at Hachafirim in the plain of Ono. But they intended to do me harm. And I sent messengers to them, saying, I am doing a great work and I cannot come down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and come down to you? And they sent to me four times in this way, and I answered them in the same manner. In the same way, Sanballat, for the fifth time, sent his servant to me with an open letter in his hand. In it was written, It is reported among the nations, and Geshem also says it, that you and the Jews intend to rebel. That is why you are building the wall. And according to these reports, you wish to become their king. And you have also set up prophets to proclaim concerning you in Jerusalem. There is a king in Judah. And now the king will hear of these reports. So now come and let us take counsel together. Then I sent to him, saying, No such things as you say have been done, for you are inventing them out of your own mind. For they all wanted to frighten us, thinking, Their hands will drop from the work, and it will not be done. But now, O God, strengthen my hands. Now when I went into the house of Shemaiah, the son of Deliah, son of Methtabal, who was confined to his home, He said, Let us meet together in the house of God, within the temple. Let us close the doors of the temple, for they are coming to kill you. They are coming to kill you by night. But I said, Should such a man as I run away? And what man such as I could go into the temple and live? I will not go in. And I understood and saw that God had not sent him, but he had pronounced a prophecy against me, because Tobiah and Sanballat had hired him. For this purpose he was hired that I should be afraid and act in this way and sin, and so they could give me a bad name in order to taunt me. Remember Tobiah and Sanballat, O my God, according to these things that they did, and also the prophetess Noadiah and the rest of the prophets who wanted to make me afraid. So the wall was finished on the twenty-fifth day of the month of Elul, in fifty-two days. And when all our enemies heard of it, all the nations around us were afraid and fell greatly in their own esteem, for they perceived that this work had been accomplished with the help of our God. Moreover, in those days, the nobles of Judah sent many letters to Tobiah, and Tobiah's letters came to them. For many in Judah were bound by oath to him, because he was the son-in-law of Shechaniah the son of Arah. And his son, Johanan, had taken the daughter of Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, as his wife. Also they spoke of his good deeds in my presence, and reported my words to him. And Tobiah sent letters to make me afraid. Chapter 7. Now when the wall had been built, and I had set up the doors, and the gatekeepers, the singers, and the Levites had been appointed, I gave my brother Hanani and Hananiah the governor of the castle charge over Jerusalem, for he was a more faithful and God-fearing man than many. And I said to them, Let not the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun is hot, and while they are still standing guard, let them shut and bar the doors. Appoint guards from among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, some at their guard posts, and some in front of their own homes. The city was wide and large, but the people within it were few, and no houses had been rebuilt. Then my God put it into my heart to assemble the nobles and the officials and the people to be enrolled by genealogy. And I found the book of the genealogy of those who came up at the first, and I found written in it, These were the people of the province who came up out of the captivity of those exiles whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried into exile. They returned to Jerusalem and to Judah, each to his own town. They came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Azariah, Raamiah, Nahamami, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispereth, Bigvi, Nahum, Baana. The number of the men of the people of Israel. The sons of Parash, 2,172. The sons of Shephatiah, 372. The sons of Arah, 652. The sons of Pahath Moab, namely the sons of Jeshua and Joab, 2,818. The sons of Elam, 1,254. The sons of Zatu, 845. The sons of Zakai, 760. The sons of Benui, 648. The sons of Babai, 628. The sons of Asgad, 2,322. The sons of Adonikam, 667. The sons of Bigvi, 2,067. 
sons of Aden, 655. The sons of Atur, namely of Hezekiah, 98. The sons of Hashem, 328. The sons of Bezai, 324. The sons of Harif, 112. The sons of Gibeon, 95. The men of Bethlehem and Nedophah, 188. The men of Anathoth, 128. The men of Beth Asmaveth, 42. The men of Kiriath Jiriam, Shepharah and Beeroth, 743. The men of Ramah and Geba, 621. The men of Michmas, 122. The men of Bethel and Ai, 123. The men of the other Nebo, 52. The sons of the other Elam, 1,254. The sons of Harim, 320. The sons of Jericho, 345. The sons of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 721. The sons of Sanaa, 3,930. The priests, the sons of Jediah, namely the house of Jeshua, 973. The sons of Immer, 1,052. The sons of Pashur, 1,247. The sons of Harim, 1,017. The Levites, the sons of Jeshua, namely of Cadmiel, of the sons of Hodavah, 74. The singers, the sons of Asaph, 148. The gatekeepers, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Ater, the sons of Talman, the sons of Akub, the sons of Hatita, the sons of Shobai, 138. The temple servants, the sons of Ziha, the sons of Hashifa, the sons of Tabaoth, the sons of Keros, the sons of Sia, the sons of Padon, the sons of Lebanon, the sons of Hagabah, the sons of Shalmai, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Gedel, the sons of Gehar, the sons of Reiah, the sons of Rezin, the sons of Nakoda, the sons of Gazam, the sons of Uza, the sons of Pasea, the sons of Besai, the sons of Meunim, the sons of Neshusizim, the sons of Bakbuk, the sons of Hakafa, the sons of Harher, the sons of Basileth, the sons of Mehida, the sons of Harsha, the sons of Barkos, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tima, the sons of Neziah, the sons of Hatifa. The sons of Solomon's servants, the sons of Sotai, the sons of Sophereth, the sons of Perida, the sons of Ja'alah, the sons of Darkon, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Shephatiah, the sons of Hatil, the sons of Pokereth Hazabayim, the sons of Amon. All the temple servants and the sons of Solomon's servants were 392. The following were those who came out from Tel Malah, Tel Harsha, Cherub, Adon, and Immer, but they could not prove their father's houses nor their descent, whether they belonged to Israel. The sons of Deliah, the sons of Tobiah, the sons of Nakoda, 642. Also of the priests, the sons of Hobiah, the sons of Hakaz, the sons of Berzeli, who had taken a wife of the daughters of Berzeli the Gileadite, and was called by their name. These sought their registration among those enrolled in the genealogies, but it was not found there so they were excluded from the priesthood as unclean. The governor told them that they were not to partake of the most holy food until a priest with Urim and Thummim should arise. The whole assembly together was 42,360, besides their male and female servants, of whom there were 7,337. And they had 245 singers, male and female. Their horses were 736, their mules 245, their camels 435, and their donkeys, 6,720. Now some of the heads of the father's houses gave to the work. The governor gave to the treasury 1,000 derricks of gold, 50 basins, 30 priest garments, and 500 minas of silver. And some of the heads of father's houses gave into the treasury of the work 20,000 derricks of gold and 2,200 minas of silver. And what the rest of the people gave was 20,000 derricks of gold, 2,000 minas of silver, and sixty-seven priests' garments. So the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, some of the people, the temple servants, and all of Israel lived in their towns. And when the seventh month had come, the people of Israel were in their towns.